Hello everyone and welcome to a new Hialt 101. In this video, I will help you to get started with TMS FNC web browser or TADV web browser. The difference between the two is that the TADV web browser is part of the TMS PCL UI pack and can only be used on Windows applications, while the TTMS FNC web browser is in the TMS FNC core package and can be used cross-platform. But first of all, let me congratulate Razel43 for his comment, he wins this hands-on with Delphi TMS FNC Maps book. This will be coming your way very soon. Now, let's start with the necessary setup for this component. First of all, we'll need Edge Chromium. Since some time now, Windows is shipping this with the Windows 10 updates. So normally you should have the Edge Chromium if your Windows is up to date. You don't need a special version like the Canary version for this, just a stable one, as we don't think it's feasible to expect your clients to have a different version from a web browser installed. Another thing that you need is the WebView 2 loader DLLs. These you can find in the Edge support folder with the installation. So you got a 64-bit and a 32-bit uh, this depends on the application that you will be running. So if you're running a standard 32-bit application, you'll need the x86 folder DLL. These need to be in your systems folder. Um, if you are on a 64-bit system, and as Delphi is a 32-bit application, you need to place them in the syswo64 folder. Here you can see them. And then you can use the TMS FNC web browser component. This is a demo application that will be implemented in the demos for the VCLUI pack and the TMS FNC core package. Um, this is a simple web browser that I've created. So we've got a back and forward button, a reload button, then the go. And here is an edit where you can type in the URL that you want. So let's go to google.com. Here on the right, I've created a small uh, history that you can see. Now let's have a look in the code how this is done. To go back, forward and reload, this is easily done with the implemented methods of the FNC web browser or the ADV web browser. Uh, if you want to navigate to a URL, you just use the navigate uh, method. Uh, here this is with a small check if the HTTP is in front of it or not, otherwise we'll add it. And if you want to add the URL to the list box, uh, this is done on the navigate complete event where we just get the params.url uh, variable uh, from the function and then uh, we've added it to the list box. And that's actually all that is necessary to do. But I've added another thing in the demo and this is the bridge adapter. So now this is our own HTML that we've added to the uh, web browser and two buttons yes or no which you can click and you can see we retrieve it in our application if yes or no is clicked and then we have the other way around where we set something from our application into the HTML and um, so let's set the ratio so three click yes one click no so 75% of the time we like TMS software. Or we can add some items uh, to the HTML as well. Items 1, items 2, and so on if you want to. So this last thing is done with the execute JavaScript. Uh, this function, you can do almost anything with it. A lot of people ask us how they can do this or that. Well, with the execute JavaScript function, you can do almost anything that you think of that is possible. So here we just get the element ID of our paragraph that I've added. You will see that later on. And we just set the inner HTML to our string or we add the uh, list item. So this is to add things to your HTML. Now to retrieve things, we will need some other things. First of all, we'll need to create a, a bridge object that is uh, that inherits from the interface TMS FNC Custom Web Browser Bridge, and there you create the property object messages object message, which which has a get and a set object message, um, and in this set object message, we'll retrieve 
or value, which is always a string. And then we update our labels. So this is, first of all, we'll need our own HTML code. So here we add the HTML code. Um, and in a script tag, we add the get bridge communication layer with our bridge name, which is set to my bridge in this case. And then we we'll, can do whatever we want. So here on the on click, we send with our bridge name, the object message, yes, as you've seen below, that we then add it to the counter or no, but you can add any string that you want. Um, so this is here for the interface again, uh, for the uh, JavaScript execution. Um, so this is the ID ratio paragraph, where we then add our uh, inner HTML in. So to go on with the bridge, so we've added the bridge communication layer. We added the, uh, the event of the send, then the bridge name and the object message that we have. We create the bridge object and then we add the bridge. This load HTML is just to add this HTML as you could see on the project. So that is this page here. I hope this video helps you to get started with this wonderful component. The use of the execute JavaScript methods and the bridge object gives you the possibilities to take this control to a much higher level. Uh, this project will also be added in the demo folder of the TMS VCLUI pack and the TMS FNC core products. So you can experiment with this as much as you want. If you've got any more questions, please feel free to ask him. And again, congratulations to Razel43 with his new book. Thank you. Till next time.